together form an explosive mixture. The basic job of the engine is to convert this explosive energy into motion. To contain the explosion, the engine uses a cylinder and fitting snugly within the cylinder, a piston that slides up and down. Inside the cylinder, an electric spark ignites the compressed gasoline and air, and the hot gases from the explosion push the piston downward. The piston rod is connected to a crankshaft, which converts the up and down motion into rotary motion. The crankshaft then drives the rear wheels through various machinery, which we'll see later. Here is a different perspective on how the piston drives the crankshaft through the connecting rod. At the top of the cylinder are the valves, which let in the gasoline and air mixture. For increased power and smoothness, modern auto engines have a number of cylinders driving one crankshaft. Gasoline from the tank is pumped by the fuel pump to the engine's carburetor through the fuel lines. The carburetor mixes the gasoline with air to form the explosive mixture that drives the pistons. Here's a closer view of the carburetor. A linkage connects the accelerator pedal with a valve in the carburetor. Stepping on the gas opens this valve wider, increasing the gas flow and speeding up the engine. Easing off on the pedal reduces the flow and the engine slows down. Here on an actual engine are the counterparts of the fuel system just diagrammed. The fuel pump, the fuel line from pump to carburetor, and the carburetor itself with its air cleaner removed. Here is the linkage connecting the carburetor to the accelerator pedal. The engine's electrical system supplies the spark that fires the fuel mixture. As the engine rotates, it drives a generator which keeps the car's battery charged. The battery supplies electricity to the coil, which boosts the current to a voltage high enough to produce a spark, and then sends it through the distributor to the spark plugs located in the cylinders. The distributor distributes electrical current to the proper spark plug at the proper time. Inside the distributor is a rotor, which as it turns, touches a series of contacts, one of which is wired to each spark plug. The points open and close as the rotor turns, interrupting the current to produce the fuel igniting spark. Here again are the major parts of the engine's electrical system. The generator, the battery, the booster coil, distributor, and spark plugs. Now looking at an actual engine, here is the generator, and the battery. Together at the rear of the engine are the coil, the distributor cap containing the contact swept by the rotor, the rotor itself, and the points which sometimes need adjustments. And finally, in the cylinder heads, the spark plugs. The engine on this model chassis contains nearly all the parts found in a working engine. Let's break it down to its fundamentals and then build it up again. Here's the heart of the engine, the cylinders and pistons. This engine, known as a V8, has two banks of four cylinders each, driving a common crankshaft. The camshaft, geared to the crankshaft, lifts and lowers the valves in the cylinders. Now the right and left cylinder heads, containing the valves themselves and the valve lifters. The distributor at the rear of the engine is also driven from the camshaft. Now the fan, the generator, and a part of the cooling system. Here, flashing lights simulate the firing of the spark plugs as the rotor supplies current to each in proper firing order. Continuing the buildup, here are the carburetor and the manifold. And finally, the air cleaner atop the carburetor. Here is a rear view showing how the pistons drive the crankshaft. And down through the plastic housing, we can see the gearing connecting the camshaft to the distributor. 
four, six, and eight-cylinder engines are standard today. This V8 configuration...